We're here today to rally against the atrocities that have taken place in Gaza over the past week. To begin our rally tonight, I want to acknowledge that we stand here on Aboriginal land. This side of the river is Turrbal land, the other side of the river is Jagera land. The first speaker that I want to introduce to you is Khalil Hamden, a member of the Palestinian community here. He's going to address us about the realities of what's been happening in the past week. Friends, I'd just like to thank every one of you who made the effort to come here today to stand up with me and with the rest of us to speak for those people who have been attacked, attack after attack after attack for the last many, many years by the Israeli government. Their agenda, as you know, is not peace. Their agenda, as Cathy spoke, is ethnic cleansing. Ethnic cleansing been going since 1948. And I am one of these victims of 1948 when the Israeli Zionists and the Haganah and the State Gang come to my city of Jaffa and push us out among 700 Palestinians. Our next speaker today is talking to us from the Brisbane Aboriginal Sovereign Embassy, I'd like to introduce Bo Spearham. Ayama, Yama, my language means welcome. I just before I start, you know, I'd like to acknowledge the traditional owners and uh, whose land we're on today, you know. Um, also, um, in this country for the last, you know, 220 odd years, we've been fighting the same fight that you've been fighting, you know. We've been fighting for, uh, for justice, for freedom, and also for, uh, for our land, you know. Like, we feel your pain, you know. Um, uh, over here at the moment, you know, we'll, um, we're going for a cultural genocide, you know. Seven days a week at this school, 24 hours a day, cultural genocide is is committed, you know, and, and they're taught to kids. You know, they're, they're, these people ain't taught the, the the true history, you know, the true culture, you know, what happened to my people, you know. So I think, you know, we, 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 uh, we share something similar, you know, and, and um, that's the struggle, you know, and, and uh, that's the fight for justice and for freedom, you know. Um, um, I just like to say, you know, the sovereign movement, you know, supports uh, the freedom of Palestine, you know. We support that 110% because we know what uh, we know what that's all about. You know, um, Israel, you know, walks on Palestinian land, you know. Just like everybody here walks on Aboriginal land, you know. And they should acknowledge that first, first and foremost. land and you my brothers assalamu alaikum greetings friends i'm always asked uh, people who know me are surprised that i am with this movement and they ask me what why what is all what is the big deal about if israel is uh, attacking it has a right to defend its people isn't hamas on the people of gaza firing rockets at Israel, at Ashkelon, and even Tel Aviv. Yes, they are firing rockets, but that is nothing, that is a pittance. That is nothing compared to the horrendous abuses, the horrendous bombardment the Palestinians have suffered right through history. We know that the government in this country will continue to support apartheid Israel until we force it to stop, until we force them to put sanctions on Israel. And that's what we have to commit to today. So we've got one more speaker um, down here. We're going to march through the streets and end up outside the My Centre there. And our next speaker, Bill Monsour, is going to explain why that will be our target.
the people of Australia have started to begin a process where we are moving beyond despair, taking our anger and turning it into action. Many of you will know of the boycott, divestment and sanctions campaign. We have been active here in Brisbane for now about two years. The boycott, divestment, sanctions campaign was initiated by a call from the broadest collection of civil society groups in Palestine, unions, NGOs, uh, community groups, 170 organisations that called and made a call to the world that solidarity should look like supporting three simple demands. The end of colonialism and the dismantling of the wall. Equal rights for all Palestinians. And probably most importantly, the right of return. Three very simple de demands. And they form the core of the work that we've been doing both here and across Australia. Somehow, after so much death and so much blood, it almost seems insignificant that we're here to campaign against a top planning company. So we have to understand the lowering of apartheid, the sense we have to see the bomb whole families in the Gaza Strip in the last eight days, the logic of apartheid, the racism that dictates the death of so many Palestinian children. It's the same logic. That means in this shop there is a cosmetic company and the dead tea cosmetic industry around the world is about a billion dollars worth of income for the apartheid today. And if you've ever been to the dead tea, you will travel down on a road that Palestinians who have only the green card of the occupied territory can't drive their car on.